Give me one. Okay, bite. All right. Look down. So you basically want to take care of your bulb is not there. Yes. And you've had two surgeries already? Yes. Mm. Uh, did they harvest rib before? Uh, I think from here, yes, doctor. That's not rib, that's bone, I think. Okay. From the leg. Can you do like this? Okay, there's some more. We should be able to give you a good improvement. It's not going to be easy for you hmm. because there's a lot of scarring inside and there's a lot of uh, uh, probably the earlier grafting and everything. It's very thick. Um, so it will take time for me, maybe three hours for the nose alone. Lip, if you want, I can improve. Nothing, just that little bit of a bulbousness, we can correct it. Easy okay. that is. Okay. It will take me 20 to 30 minutes only. Okay. But nose is very hard. We will be able to give you good result. But the two things that are, um, that I should tell you. One is you have very thick skin. And secondly, there is too much of scarring. When I keep my finger, there is fully scar inside. Okay. So they have had two surgeries for you. Probably they did one when you were a baby as well. Yes, yes. So three. Ah, so that is the reason why. And they've tried to put some material inside and this and that. There's a lot of scarring. Yes. You know what happens? When there is more scarring, the healing takes more time. Not only that, the improvements uh, also cannot be as dramatic. No. Because you know, the skin and the things are not as supple. Yeah. Not as plastic, not as moldable. Um, so, those are uh, points that I can... There will be good improvements still. Like the bulbosity has reduced, okay. this grooving will come down, but don't expect a very sharp tip. No, not sharp tip, doctor. The thing is, uh, I have a bulbous thing that's collapsed. Right? That I will correct it. Yes. Collapse and all we can correct. Okay. But you I just want some tight and ah. It will be. And evenness. Yeah, it will be better. The lip evenness, 100% I will give you. The nose, um, you can expect good improvement, but don't expect a sharp tip. But your length of the nose is less. No. You know, this is your upper third no. and lower third is all good. Your nose is a little bit short no. and stout. So we're yeah. going to make it a little bit long and slim. Yeah. Uh, not a great deal, but yes, in that direction we will no. go. So it will be a much improved version of your current nose. No. You are looking at um, 7 to 10 days here after surgery minimum of seven i think it's going to be more um, and that's it and then a full recovery of two to three weeks so all that i'll correct that is easily fixable the deviation everything will be done the only thing remember the tip is not going to get very pointy because you have a very broad tip that's because of repeated surgeries and thick skin both this is the reason, right? And when would you want me to do the surgery? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Cool. So we'll just work you up then. Do you have any other medical issues that I should know about? Uh, nothing else. Uh, you've come all by yourself or you have someone with you? I have a friend. Cool. Well, what about your COVID history? COVID is nothing. Vaccinations all done? No, all done. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just quickly run your blood test. We'll um, get the other formalities done, so we can schedule uh, you first up tomorrow morning. We can start early. Done? Pura ready karo inka. Doubt hai to rejo phone karne ke liye bolo mere se. Kuch bhi doubt hai to, to fatafat. And then you can leave. 
and then come tomorrow morning without having any breakfast, without having anything to even drink. Okay. Okay. Directly. We start by 9, so come by 8.30. Oh, sure. Come by 8. Oh. Can we start today's? Tell Anta Krishnan immediately. It's already like 11.30 now. Yeah, let's start straight. Like, uh, you'll harvest your rib. I will harvest your rib. Okay. I will need. Okay. Yeah? Chalo. I've been conversing with this patient who happens to be very well aware of all the procedures that he has undergone. Um, it's supposed to be a tertiary rhinoplasty for him. Um, as we can see, it's a cleft rhinoplasty. Um, he's aware that there was a cleft especially a right-sided cleft in his case, um, which he operated in his infancy. He doesn't remember exactly, but it was in his home state. The second surgery being in 2002, if I'm not wrong, that was the first time he underwent a rhinoplasty. The details of which um, he doesn't remember clearly whether it was an anterior rhinoplasty or a full-fledged, uh, the first one that you underwent in 2002. Yeah, 2002. Yeah. The second one, uh, he is quite confident of the details when he see augmentation was done using an um, allogenic graph. By allogenic graph, we mean a, a graph which is not taken from his own body. So, it was an artificial substitute that was used for the nasal reconstruction. The problem which he faces is that of a cleft nasal deformity. Now, when we say it's a cleft nasal deformity, we mean when you look up, yes, so we particularly mean the asymmetry along the alar basis. Now, now on cleft side, what happens is the cleft side tends to droop down and so is the case with him. Having undergone multiple surgeries and even we can note the scarring over here. We can see it's an open structure rhinoplasty which has been done because of the scarring. We can see the scarring at the base of the nose. Close your lips tightly, sir. Close your upper lip tightly like this. Pull it down. Yes. So, when you pull it down, we can clearly see how the scar is. We can clearly see how the scar is from the base of the nose and along the nasal bridge. That's because of repeated surgeries which has happened. Um, right now, yes, along with the cleft nasal deformity correction, he also wants a lip revision. Lip revision mainly because we see a slight notching on the right side. Uh, it's it's done in a uh, like a well conceived manner, but yeah, the scar is seen. We can see a Z scar. We can see a lip notching. That is what he's desirous of correcting and also the nose. In his words, it's the bulbousness of the nose that bothers him and also the flaring the, um, on the cleft side, which is on the right side for him. Um, anything else which you would like to mention about? I can see the width of the nose is quite broad. Yes, yes. the tip is quite bulbous. In fact, the nasal length, the length of the nose is a little short for you. Um, so yes, all those parameters we'll keep. And do you have any breathing issues? Uh, because breathing some problem, cleft I patients have a blocked nose on the yeah, cleft side, side the right side. Yeah. Okay. Has it improved over the years after the revision surgeries that I you've don't undergone? Know. I don't have an issue with the breathing. Okay. The only thing I'm here is for the, for the nose. nose. Cosmetic yeah. enhancement. Right. Okay. Okay, so we'll see it's going to be a challenging rhinoplasty, a tertiary one for Dr. Richardson. We'll see how it goes inside the theatre and also before he goes home. Thank you. with this very, very challenging tertiary revision cleft rhinoplasty. So we're going to try and show you all the different views. So you can see that the nasal shape has been augmented from the radix to the tip. He had super thick skin, more than a centimeter, lots of scarring, had to have a strip, a lot of grafts. Yeah. And we've got a fair amount of symmetry as you can see. A nice relation of the columella to the lips and the alar base to the columella. And I'm going to show you the pre op. So you can see the asymmetry. You can also see the shape.
You can look down, please. Sorry. It's not going to hurt you much. Don't worry. Just a little bit. Yeah. Look down. Look down. So we're taking up the splint. We had a, this was a revision cleft rhinoplasty. We're doing it for the third time now. The first time here that is, and he's had a couple of surgeries done before. So not only did he have the thick bulbous nasal skin, but was also like a revision, as I mentioned, tertiary. One second. The little bit of uh, lip uh, work as well. Okay. All right. Okay, so can we have a no? The mirror is here. So you can see the improvement. So the lip, you see, it looks hundred percent normal now. Yeah. It was almost normal before, I mean, just small issues, I just did a minimal touch up with your lips. But the nose is major work, right? We've right. done from the radix. Now, this is still swelling. Yeah. And you see, this is from the splint that's a little bit squeezed. Okay. So it's going to just be a nice, uh, more proportional nose. Okay. And uh, if you see carefully, the length of your nose has been increased uh, by moving the tip a little bit down. So your lip show will be a little less. Of course, we've reduced the width as well, but not by a great deal yeah we've made it much more proportional these grooves both would reduce okay. it's going to get much smoother there much smoother there much smoother there okay. that's the middle third of your face that'll really really look younger okay. that's for sure the nose tip going to be much better and let's see the side views oh yeah now you can see more improvement on this view also now have a look here you can appreciate the improvement in projection, length, everything. It will. It will come down everywhere. Look up. Let's see the symmetry part. You can see the symmetry. So the tip was towards one side when we started. It's now in the midline. You know, cleft already is difficult because of the fact that the entire cartilage and the nasal skeleton is moved towards the cleft side. And when you were doing a revision, revision, so it's like... Yeah, we have a lot of things to overcome and not only the anatomy but also the earlier surgeons issues the change in anatomy scarring yeah so and plus you have this thick skin so that doesn't help us anyways I think you should get more uh, shrinkage see whenever patients have had multiple surgeries the time it takes to heal becomes longer so I think give itself a few months it's going to shrink quite a lot. The shape is going to be much more proportional to your face. And then let us know at that time. All right. And I don't think anyone's going to say that you had cleft anymore. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> it will, no, it will look, no, no one will be able to identify. Yeah. With your motion, everything growing and your nose, it's going to be like, uh, that's the important thing. Yeah. So... And this part, you know, your, flat, your face is a little bit flat in the middle third. Yes. Now it won't be. Now it will be a little bit slimmer and more projected. So that, that gives a younger look as well. Yeah. How long will it take to for it to come down? All the swelling? All the swelling, two months. Because we've done quite a lot of rib grafting also for it you. It will take one month, right? Generally one month, but we're doing it like this is your third procedure. Yeah. So give it extra two, three weeks. Okay. Take care for at least a couple of more months. We'll give you medicines and everything. You leaving today? Yeah, leaving. All right. Safe journey. Okay. How was your stay here? It was good. It was comfortable. Very comfortable. What about your rib pain? Uh, only when getting up, I have a bit issues. Yeah. Now with you, the rib harvesting is a little bit more difficult than an ordinary patient because of the fact that you know we had to go really yeah, deep yeah, in because yeah, of fat. Normal. So some patients do have excess pain. You didn't have excess pain. Normal. It was normal. That's nice to know. So uh, refrain from severe exercise for four more weeks or six more weeks. After that, you can. Yeah. All right. Diet, no issues. No. You can take what, whatever. No. Food is not a problem. We'll take off the sutures now yeah. and then you're good to leave. No. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah.